7th of March 2024, bandit invaded local education area primary school, Kuriga, and government secondary school, Kuriga, abducting over 250 pupils and students combined to an unknown destination. Parents of these children are worried over the whereabouts of their children since they are yet to hear from them. Galaxy TV Bosa Nyakusak has details in this report. Sheol Awal says he will never forget the event of 7th March when gunmen invaded Koriga community, kidnapping school children, including his son, Amino Lawal. For Sheol Awal, life hasn't remained the same as their joy has been taken away from them. He says he no longer sleeps at night because he's worried over the whereabouts of his son. While for Khalid Ahmed, he said his brother was killed while trying to save the lives of students in the school and this has brought a lot of sadness in their family because his brother was a good man with a lot of prospect. As I am talking to you now, we are yet to hear from our children and not to even talk of knowing what is happening to them. They are yet to say anything. They are yet to call anyone. Because these are little children, and we don't know if we will be able to have someone's phone number that they can use to call. Look at in the what happened is that when the bandits came and started shooting, my brother was trying to save his life and the lives of his younger one. He lost his life, and we are mourning. Some students of the school who managed to escape also narrate the ordeal. They say it still looked like a dream as everything happened so fast, while hoping they will reunite with their friends soon. They didn't give us shoes, and most of us lost our shoes while trying to run for our lives, while others held their shoe on their hand because they couldn't use it to walk in the bush. And from there, the only food they gave us was three soft drinks for all the boys, and we were between 50 to 70. They gave our teacher one to drink. We couldn't even drink because when you look at the smaller children, you feel pity for them and cry without even knowing. It was even the ladies that they tried and gave them more drinks and bread to share. The bandits came on their bike, shooting and telling people to stop. And all the students ran away and tried to run for their safety. That was how I was able to run and I escaped back home. For Sheol Lawal, he is appealing to government to help rescue their children from the hands of the abductors, while Khalid Ahmed is praying government should establish a security outfit which will help protect them from a known gunman. Even if the bandits ask us to pay ransom, we will not be able to pay money because we don't have any. Only the government can help us rescue these kids from the hands of bandits. We don't have security personnel here. We don't have policemen, civil defense, not to talk of military men here. This is how we have been living our lives for years. And this is not the first time or second time that bandits are coming to Kuriga. We have reported this severally and up to now, nothing has been done.